You're watching WAFF 48. This is breaking news. We've been following breaking news for the last hour or so. Right now, out of Huntsville, two police officers, a third person, have been shot, have been shot at Governor's House Apartments near Jordan Lane and I-565. We have several crews on the scene. We have one crew at this scene that you see right here on your screen where several police officers have responded to that governor's house drive address. Multiple agencies. We have Huntsville PD. We have Sheriff's Office deputies. We have fire firefighters on scene as well. This is a helicopter. Is this a live Flying picture? Flying into Huntsville Hospital right now. It's my understanding. Is correct? This is a live picture. Yes. This is a live picture flying in with a helicopter coming into Huntsville Airy Hospital. Mm -hmm. So we do know two officers are right now. They have been rushed to Huntsville Hospital. It is the the highest level trauma center as we know in North Alabama. So we will be watching closely. We don't know if it's directly affiliated with this current situation, but it could be. We have our Matthew King there at Huntsville Hospital. Again, you're looking at this massive scene right off I-565 and Jordan Lane. We have an apartment complex there to the south of there. We have crews. In addition to what we're seeing here, Margot, I understand there is an, an enormous yes. number of officers inside the apartment complex. SWAT, tactical gear, as well as armored vehicles. So let's go to the hospital live with our Matthew King, who's been standing by seeing ambulances coming in. Matthew, what have you seen? Well, just now, Margo, as we just showed you, a helicopter just landed, and there's been a sense of urgency from the police officers here on Madison Street. I got here just after the initial ambulance came in, and they originally blocked the road off. Now the road is now open, but as you can see behind me, police presence very heavy here. I've just seen a police officer walk through wearing, hoisting, I should say, a rifle, and we've now seen two ambulances. What we know right now is there were two officers who were shot, as well as one other citizen. We're working to keep, keep getting more information from police. And as we get that information, we will continue to let you know what is going on for now. I will be right here in front of the hospital trying to figure out what is going on here at the scene in front of Huntsville Hospital. Reporting live in Huntsville, Matthew King, 48 on your side. All right, thank you, Matthew, for that information. As we are watching this live picture right here, you can see several uh, law enforcement on the scene with tactical gear, rifles in hand. SWAT is on the scene here. Liz, you know from experience when an officer is involved, everyone shows everyone up. Everyone responds. It is all hands on deck. So that's why we see total law enforcement presence from local and I'm sure state will shortly be on the way. And then everyone clears the way to Huntsville Hospital, breaking way for those ambulance to get there. Again, we don't know if that air ambulance is there for any of these officers. If it's just, you know, happen to be the timing exactly. of it. Or to transport them to a, an to additional uh, location. Correct. We don't know that right now. But again, this is a highest level trauma center there at Huntsville Hospital. We learned that it was uh, during the Lee High School bus crash that they completely revamped the hospital emergency room to take in a mass casualty situation. Again, we have a third person, a citizen, right. who has also been shot on scene at Governor's House Apartments. So we are waiting to understand more about who that individual is and what set all of this in, in motion. motion. Yeah. Our Romario Gardner, if you know the lay of the land there, is at a media staging center, which is at the old West Lawn Elementary School. It sits right along Jordan Lane, not too far from I-565. He is there gathering additional information, but so many at this point in time remain tight-lipped. This is the time where everybody closes ranks. They handle the current situation, which my understanding, there is still an ongoing situation, correct? At the apartment complex. That's the information that we're still waiting on. What they have confirmed is that this all unfolded just before five o'clock, where we now know two officers have been shot and a third person as well. We also know that as soon as this happened, every road in this vicinity was shut down mm -hmm. so they could swarm this area and respond. We had multiple calls into the newsroom. We were inundated with calls because all of this is happening right at rush hour mm -hmm. where every street around this scene is now blocked off so that the important crews who need to be in this area are. Now, what prompted this is still the big unknown at this point. As I mentioned, we have several crews in different locations. 
Now we're going to go to Romario Gardner, who's been at that media staging area. Mar Romario, if you can hear us, what have you been told at the scene there? Margo, right now, the best phrase to describe what's going on right now is pandemonium. Now, on my way here, I saw dozens of agencies rushing to the scene. I'm talking ambulances. I'm talking SWAT. I'm talking police. Dozens. And I'm, I'm even firefighters and even saw an armored truck just rushed down to the scene. I'm going to step aside to give you guys a better look at what I'm seeing right now. As you can see, there's traffic blocked all the way down going on to 565. And in the opposite direction on Bob Wallace and Jordan Lane, there's also traffic backed up. Now, when you take a look at the screen, I want you guys to take a look. You can see armored people walking with guns, tactical gear, everything. Now, also, I'm, we're still working the scene. Police are trying to figure out what exactly led to this happening. But when we have more information, we will keep you updated both live on here and online. But for now, reporting live on Romario Gardner, back to you guys. So we obviously have an active st scene right now at Governor's House Apartments. It has to be an active scene. This is has gone beyond just merely a post investigation. Exactly. Do we know? I don't know if Romario. I don't know if Matthew. If our crews out there can can tell us what is happening on the inside. You say that you see officers with tactical gear running down the road with uh, armor weapons in hand. From what we see from this distance, they seem to be at a holding pattern though, but we don't know what's closer to the epicenter right now of what transpired about an hour ago. Mm -hmm. But what we see visually right here is that they seem to be at a holding pattern. We see this is the main road and we understand internally inside the complex, Brad and I were looking, you know, in our closed camera through our camera network, there were dozens of vehicles inside the apartment complex as well. So what is the status right now with the shooter? That is the big question right now. Or shooters, is there more than one? Has the scene been cordoned off? Really, these are questions that we are asking right now and hoping that someone in the field can actually describe to us and tell us what's happening. We watch HPD right now blocking off the intersection on and off. You see the officer jumping out of his or her car right now. We'll just have to watch this unfold. The shot that we just lost that you were just watching, our photographer on the scene right there is being pushed back by police. So that tells me this is now a safety issue and they're pushing mm -hmm. him farther back. Mm -hmm. And that's why we are trying to get him in a different position so we can learn more information. They're blocking off the roads right there at Jordan Lane, presumably to allow any kind of emergency vehicle to get on the interstate and head somewhere head somewhere, presumably to Huntsville Hospital. Of course, we have been down at the hospital when tragedies like this happen. And right now, so many people are likely going to converge on that street, uh, offering condolences of any kind, their support, just there to be together at this, at this tragic time as we await word on the status of those officers. Right now, we do not have an update on their conditions.